Uh, M and A movers and uh, rumours. Okay, well, uh, we're we're uh, we're we're leaving the planet Earth in some respects here and moving into the world of uh, of space and satellite launches. And uh, Aerojet Rocket Dean, which is ticker AJRD in the US, has offered uh, two billion US dollars to buy um, a, a business called United Launch Alliance, which is a 50% uh, owned. Uh, joint venture between Boeing, BA, and Lockheed Martin, LMT. That's to say that each of those companies has 50% of that joint venture. Um, Aerojet is a leading supplier of rocket engines for uh, ULA launches, so it knows this business well. ULA itself was formed 10 years ago and has proved a highly effective but relatively dear platform for uh, US satellites launches. 90 satellites, though, it's launched, and all of them have been successfully delivered into space. Um, and that's just what the US government wanted at the time. Now, however, uh, ULA faces competition from low-cost alternatives such as SpaceX and space exploration technologies. So there's a trade-off here. They've had, they've got the uh, US government's got a fantastic uh, track record here with, with these guys uh, for delivering what are very expensive bits of kit into space safely. Now they want to try and cut costs um, and perhaps use some of these alternative technologies. I think the idea is that if Aerojet can buy um, ULA then that they may have a chance of making it run a bit more efficiently um, and streamline the process to allow them to compete with uh, the new technologies. Of course for the US government if they go with um, SpaceX or space exploration they run the risk of, uh, of an expensive satellite blowing up on the launch pad or crashing into the seas at some point. So uh, there's an interesting trade-off there between cost and, uh, and effective delivery. Oh.